thousand gallon monster fish and Fun turtle pond stitches. A twenty dollar gift card. What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. We have our two newest additions to House Billings. If you didn't get to check out this video, make sure you do. This was the duck that actually, well, Henny's not right behind me, but Henny hatched out, which was one of the coolest things to see. And then if you, you know, if you paid attention, we had to get the duck a friend. So we got them a chicken friend. So they are coming outside for the first time. I don't know if any of you remember this build right here that we used, but we have used this plenty and uh, it has housed ducks and baby chickens alike. And it is a great, <laughs> first, it is a great first place for them. So they can go in there. They have their water, they got food. They're gonna have the heat lamp turned on soon. And they have, if they want, they can go into the house to get some extra shelter. And as you can see, the duck is not the brightest. <laughs> Um, but we really need, I love these two. They're gonna be new best friends. Don't eat the wood chips. Don't eat the wood chips. Stop eating the wood chips. They are gonna need names though. We need names. But point. the whole point of today's video is actually we are building a pond. It is time to build the huge indoor pond for all of the monster fish. It is that sad time of the year where we have to shut down the outdoor pond. So there's only a few left out here. So we have Thor and Loki still out here and the turtles. You will see the other big guys actually inside. It got really, really cold last week, like almost in the 20s at night. So we actually had to rush some of them inside. Let's go build a pond. Whoa, <laughs> monster dude. <laughs> he doesn't like being touched. At least Jeff doesn't mind. So right now it is housing Inferno. It is housing Jeff the red tail and something that you did not see is look at the size of that monster pleco we got. We got to rescue the other day two of the largest plecos I've ever seen in my life. And so until the big pond is built, they are kind of hanging out in here. Everything is good. Picked up the wood the other day from Home Depot. Wood is gonna go here. We are gonna DIY a really cool pond, very similar to the bait tank over there, which is now housing the monsters temporarily. So last year when we brought all the monsters in, if you remember that video, I'll pop it up. That video, we did a pool, like an actual pool, and we built a frame around it in case it leaked. This year, really cool, we are gonna DIY the whole thing to, again, similar to that pond. This one is gonna be over a thousand gallons, which is double what we had last year. So it'll be perfect, it'll get them through the winter. I'm excited, I can't wait. We're gonna try and film as much of the work as we can so you can follow along. Other thing to keep in mind, most of these monsters we have rescued. If you guys wanna do anything you can to help us, so that we can always make sure we're taking care of them and feeding them and housing them properly. Make sure you share these videos around, guys. That always helps. Anything we can that can help and we can make some extra to take care of these guys is great. So, without further ado, we're gonna get this wood over here. We're gonna get to work. As you guys see, so it's gonna end up being a little over 12 feet in length. These pieces were 12 feet in length at Home Depot. We don't have a large enough truck for 12 feet. So we cut them in half, which is fine. So we're gonna cut them in half, and we're gonna put them back together with some metal braces on the side. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm putting last screw on this side and I'm gonna explain what I did here. So we have our wood that's cut six feet by about 12 inches thick. So we laid them on top of each other, so it's gonna be two feet in height. You wanna cut a piece of two by four, a little shorter than that, so probably around 22 inches, give you a little bit above and below it, just so that it doesn't hit the uh, liner and makes it nice and flat on both sides. So, if we were to stand this up, this is what the side, carefully, that's kind of what the side is gonna look like. So we have our mending plates here, and that's what we're putting to hold the two wood pieces of wood together. All right guys, so we got everything screwed in there, all braced in, nice and even. Again, you're just gonna do the same on each, four on that side, four on that side. Now what we gotta do is flip them over so we can get some stuff screwed in. So now, we are gonna take two by fours that we had said we pre-cut, so these are about 22 inches, and we are gonna screw these onto the ends so that the pieces on the two ends can hook in. We got part of the ends on, and as you can see, super easy. I would put two or three screws right into the two by four, and then you're just gonna replicate this again. We're gonna put the last piece on to make this even on both sides. So the frame is up. I'm gonna take you a real quick tour just to show you what we did off camera. So on all the sides here, we put a couple of these brackets just to keep everything a little bit 
more secure. Uh, we did the same in here. I think I showed you these ones already, but just to show you again, put some brakes, uh, brackets there, did that all around, put these pieces up. In the middle here, we took a two by four. We cut it to the exact measure from here inside to inside, just to help keep some more support. We are also going to do, once we finish everything, the same on the top as well. Again, this is gonna have a lot of water in it. It's gonna be basically a thousand gallons. We need this to be very secure. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the liner in. Ugh! Liner. Sure, it'll be a party inside the pond. Party in the pond. Party in the pond. Okay, so this is the, fr uh, this is the frame. This is the liner. This is a, what is it, 20 by 30? This is a 20 13. by, what? 13, I think. Is, does it say on here? It does. This is a 13 by 20, and I will put the link in the description down below. You guys ready? This is gonna be your new bath. Yeah. The monster fish. And the turtle. We're gonna take this, we're gonna spread the liner out, and we're gonna start stapling it on. I'm gonna try and show you a little bit of that. Real quick one for you guys. I'm gonna throw a $20, this isn't anything we plan to do. I'm gonna throw a $20 gift card for anybody that can correctly guess what you think I'm drinking in here. And I will give you a hint. It is October, it is fall. So keep that in mind. You have to be dead on. Comment down below if you get it right. I'll shout you out next video, and I'll give you a $20 gift card. Right, so once it is in here, just kind of walking around, I want to get it, <laughs> not, not that, you don't want to do that, but I want to get it right to the edges of everything and leave a little bit of overhang, and uh, we'll kind of cover, if you guys saw the video that we did, the little bait pod behind us, um, same thing, kind of left a little bit out and then put a nice little border around it afterwards. Liner is in, so I just took about 20 minutes, I went around and stapled everywhere, um, Tay was off with the babies, so yeah. I just made sure. <laughs> My hands are red. It took a long time to do that. So liner is in and stapled. There's probably 3,000 staples on the top. We went a little overkill. Uh, next thing we are going to do, yeah, show them. Tay made it look like stitches on the top here. Pond liners get stitches. Um, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to take this, again, very similar to the big pond over there, and we are going to put kind of like a uh, top rail along the entire thing. We, we, we almost have a pond, guys. Really cool. So we got the liner. What we did, we trimmed all around the edges. It's just, it's helpful doing it now so it's easier to measure. So one of the most important pieces is, this gonna, is for us, we're doing a brace in the middle. Again, just for some extra support. So what you have to do though is we wanted to measure and leave a little bit over because again, another piece for the trim is gonna come right here and line up. So you wanna measure with whatever the width of that piece coming down is to line up. So you're gonna get that piece in, our two end pieces. This one's in already. We're gonna do the same on the other two. Then we're gonna measure and cut the pieces here to get the trim. So there is the pond, guys. This is our thousand gallon monster fish and turtle pond, don't forget. I just wanna to touch on lighting. I know lighting isn't great right now. I actually just plugged in a grow light here because we wanna put some plants on this side. Um, lighting will be next. Lighting will be much better next video. Also, don't forget, put your notifications on. Make sure you subscribe, but put your notifications on. This was only part one. So part two is gonna be filling this up with water, getting the filtration set, and stocking it with our monsters. So we gotta get them in here, so make sure you stay tuned. But the lighting will be better because we're gonna have the turtles basking section all uh, over here. Just wanna fill you in the last things that you didn't see, so make sure. Easiest way to do this is we measured the ends and the middle and secured those first, and then we just measured the furring strips for the uh, in between those and just secured those and just screw them all around. And guys, I mean, this looks pretty sick. I'm, I'm pumped. Let me know what you guys think down below. I, you know, I always love having your input there, but I am super excited and part two is gonna be, part two is gonna be crazy. I think Grayson's gonna go swimming in here, maybe even after we put the fish in. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's get to this episode's Good Vibes shout out. It goes out to Julia Mann. Julia said, you guys have helped my fiance and I learn how to take care of our turtles and convince us to get two turtles. Julia, thank you, that's really cool. Make sure you stay in touch and let us know what kind of turtles you got and you know names and stuff. We would love to see pictures. Maybe we can even feature them in a 10 seconds of fame. I hope you guys are excited because I am super pumped. This is our favorite time of year when we get, no, 
take that back. Favorite time of year is getting them outside. But this is also super exciting and so much cooler than last year's little pool we put here. So we are gonna fill this almost to the top and we are gonna create a little barrier on the top so no one can jump out. Don't worry, everybody's gonna be safe. But you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for next episode because we're gonna be building the caves in here. I'm gonna put lava rocks all on the bottom and we're gonna get the filtration up and running. So as always, Billings fam, peace. Subscribe below, look at this guy, he won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.